This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, so this episode was long overdue as this footage was from a couple of months ago in April when Birgit from Lomography came to visit Trev Lee and I in San Francisco. She mentioned beforehand that she was going to bring a one of one prototype lens and that she would let me shoot with it and try it out before it got released. So that's exactly what we did. We basically ran around the city, explored, took Brigitte on a little tour and made some photographs with this prototype lens. Uh, but she brought over this new lens and I think it's still a prototype right now. Yes. And it is called, what's the official name of this guy here? Um, the a, t a tall 70mm um, art lens so, that we just <laughs> funded on Kickstarter. And this is the lens right here. And to our knowledge, this is the only prototype at the moment. In the US for sure, yeah. But we have the lens mounted on top of the M2. And I think there's supposed to be a viewfinder, right, that fits yes. with this? It comes with a, an external viewfinder. The final product will. I just don't have it yet. Yeah. And so we're going to be shooting with it. I have no way of knowing what I'm going to be photographing, but it's 17 millimeter. And, you know, based off of what these guys are saying, they're saying that pretty much almost everything is in focused, sharp. And uh, we're going to go to town. I have Loma 800 loaded up. I think Trev is shooting with the FM3A. With the Metropolis. Metropolis. What lens is that? Uh, it's the 40 millimeter Ultron F2. Oh. And then, are you shooting today? I brought a bunch of cameras, yeah. There you uh, go. Three, <laughs> and then, yeah, we're just gonna have some, we're gonna have a good time, make some photographs, and then as we kind of progress through the day, I'll update you guys with pictures on how the lens looks. My name is Jonathan, but online I go by King Japes. K I, oh, I know, you guys seen your stuff, man. You have got you? some cool work. Yeah, right on, brother. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, yeah. you guys. Yeah. I'm shooting the lens right I now. You, like, you're kind of tall though. I thought some of your videos look like you kind of... <laughs> yep. It's the shorter. angles, you know. I'm usually like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I get out here, it's the, it's the right, high right. side. You know my boy, um, damn, I think he's called uh, yeah, Chris. Chris Strickland. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right That's my guy. <laughs> yeah. so how you been, man? How you like yeah. to like him? It's great. I'm, so we're shooting right now with a lens that's a prototype uh, for Lamography. So we're just testing it out. Yeah, yeah, we're seeing what's going on with right. it. Okay, yeah. I'm assuming people use different cameras. So this is one of them. You want to, you want to hold on to it for a second? I want to know if there's one that you can get the stereo. <laughs> stereo? Yeah, because they got a left and right channel. This is to keep that air and wind sound away. This is a Sony. Do you have a little card with your name and stuff on it? I don't, but you can take down my, from him maybe. Instagram, Instagram. I'll give you, you got an Instagram account? A what? Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear what he said. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Instagram. No, I don't. Now, for some reason, I don't have much footage of the actual lens here, but this is the Lomography Atoll 17mm 2.8 lens. This is an art lens, um, and it gives you an incredible wide angle, and it's something that I've never been able to shoot with yeah, on film. It just film. keeps coming on my wall by itself. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, we should be all good. Thank you, guys. Right. Thank you. Have a great day. Appreciate I want to be looking for your Thank stuff you. on TV, man. All right, I got you. All right, that's good. Take care. Be careful, man. Have a good one, guys. Well, that right there, kind of drive it, maybe we can get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're only going to go from here to there. All right. Thanks, Liz. How was the cable car experience? So cool. It was fun? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so of course I'm stuck with two photographers today. <laughs> we stop every couple of minutes. No, I'm just kidding, but majority of my friends are not photographers. Yeah. But they're very patient people. <laughs> because like I'm always just like walking around or they just became photographers so they could hang out with me. There you go. Like that's what my family's done. Oh. Oh, 
Favorite Lomo film, favorite Lomo film. 800. There you go. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? Hi, Tony. Say what's good. How's it going, guys? Hi. We're from Virginia. Virginia! Virginia! All right, later, guys. Have a good time. Alright you guys, we're going to interrupt this video to give a shout out to our sponsor, the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now as a photographer or any creative now in 2021, it's very easy to just make your own portfolio, your Instagram. But in order to stand out, you want to have your own dedicated website and this is why I would recommend making your website with Squarespace. Squarespace gives you all the tools you need to get started from award-winning templates, or you can even start blank. You also have the option to create an e-commerce shop as well as a dedicated portfolio section. Head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes or enter promo code kingjapes at checkout and you're going to receive 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Now after a quick tour downtown of San Francisco, we took Birgit out to Pier 39 for a nice view of Alcatraz and the ever so famous pier. At this point, I had the lens zone focused to shoot at around 5 feet to infinity and the entire Leica setup pretty much turned into a point and shoot. With a lens this wide and no way for me to frame because I did not have the viewfinder, I had no choice but to shoot from the hip. After taking a quick stroll through the Palace of Fine Arts, Trev and I decided we wanted to give Birgit the full experience and took her to the one and only Golden Gate Bridge, a place that she wanted to check out for a very, very long time.
before I get talking about the lens here, I just want to give a huge shout out to Birgit from Lomography for even allowing me to shoot this prototype lens, and as well as Trev for always making our photography trips super, super fun. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, this was filmed early April, which means it's now been months and the Atoll is actually up for pre-order on Lomography's website. I only got to shoot it for one day, but from my time with it, here are my first impressions. Number one, the lens was built very, very well. It feels very solid in the hands and it definitely had some heft to it. Um, honestly, it felt like a pro-grade lens and for the most part, it just felt very premium. It didn't feel, you know, cheap or plasticky whatsoever. Um, there was, again, a nice weight to it. That said, the lens was a bit large for the Leica just because most Leica lenses are fairly small. But I have to remind myself that this is also going to be made for the E mount, Z mount, RF mount. Um, and you know, that's obviously going to balance much, much better on a mirrorless camera. Now, number two, as for the 17 millimeter focal length, it is very, very wide, making it a really fun lens to shoot architecture, street photography, landscape, pretty much any genre that you would like to go with. Um, now, because it is a wide angle lens, there's so much detail being captured. If you shoot vertically, I'm pretty sure you're going to see your feet down on the bottom of the frame there. You know, if you're looking for a wide angle 17mm fast 2.8 lens, this is a very good option. Uh, I just probably wouldn't use it for portraiture, but the one thing that you got to keep in mind though, folks, is that it is purely manual focus. And that leads us over into point number three. Manual focusing is very, very easy with a lens this wide. Now because it is 17 millimeters, pretty much from 5 feet to infinity was always all in focus for me. I was shooting between f8 to f16 and as mentioned, I pretty much shot this lens like it was just a point and shoot. I'm sure with the added viewfinder that is set to release with this lens, it's going to make composing much, much easier. And so if this is something you're looking for, you know, a fast 17 millimeter lens, I encourage you guys to just go ahead and check it out on Lomography's website. It is available for pre-order. I definitely think this is going to be a popular choice for creatives looking for a lens to give them some flexibility with a film or digital Leica. You know, 17 millimeters is not a common focal length. And so this would give a lot of Leica shooters the opportunity to go wide if needed needed. Those are my first impressions you guys on the Lomography Atoll 17mm 2.8 super wide angle lens. Such a fun lens to shoot. Huge thank you to Birgit again for even allowing me to shoot with this lens as well as Trev. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode you guys. This has been King Japes. Till next time, Minolta Gang.